green beard, drunken brawls, bad face painting. But enough about my St. Patrick's Day. Hi, I'm Lisa Sim, and this is WatchMojo.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do an Irish flag-inspired makeup with my Irish Princess Emmanuel. Okay, so we've already done a little bit of base on Emmanuel. I'm going to use this awesome little brush. It's a smudge and shadow brush from Sephora. I'm going to dip it into oatmeal, loose foundation from Sim Minerals, and then you can just go in and spot treat, just with the fluffy end of the brush. So now I'm going to take an aqua cream from Makeup Forever, awesome orange shade, I think it's number 10. I'm going to use a, another synthetic brush to apply it. This one is also from Sephora, and it's the Winged Smoky and Eyeliner Brush. We're going to use the tip, put it on the inside corners, and fill in the lower lid with that. We can actually use our fingertips and blend it out. So I'm basically filling in the whole lower lid and smudging it upwards towards the brow bone. I can actually take the foundation tip of another double-ended Sephora brush and use that for blending. Okay, now that you have your orange on, we can go into this little palette. I love it. It's called Ludwig. It's from Kat Von D. I'm going to take the little smudger. I'm going to roll into the light green. Now we're going to do the outer corner towards the center. And then with this smudger, because it's like a little nub, it's kind of like a pencil, you can actually draw like almost like little circles into the crease. And what's nice is that it's really dense, so the color is gonna go on where you put it. It's not gonna fly all around. So sometimes when you're working with eyeshadows, they don't go on as concentrated as you want them to be. So what I recommend is actually wetting your brush before dipping into the eyeshadow. You know, you could be using an eyeliner sealer. You can even use saliva. Why not some Guinness? You can actually see the difference between the wet and the dry. So Guinness works as a perfect eyeliner sealer. Now that you've finished doing the eyeshadow, we're gonna go into one of these little shimmer dusts and we're gonna use the eyeliner side. And again, just dip into your Guinness. Just go along right in the middle of the eye at the lash line and pull it up. Just applying it to the middle of the eye is just gonna add a little bit of shine and light. Okay, so now that that little eyeliner is done, we're gonna go back to the Ludwig palette. I'm going in with the small smudge side of the Sephora double-ended brush, and we're gonna go in and just put that underneath the arch of the brow. Okay, now that all that is done, we can go into the lashes. This is the Stimulash Fusion. What an awesome mascara this one is. What I like about doing this is that when you have all that really light pigment powder behind, the lashes really project forward. They really look like they're three-dimensional and much longer. Now that we have that finished, we can start going downwards. We're gonna highlight underneath the eye in case anything was like smudgy a little bit. Just clean that up with a Q-tip. We're gonna go in with Givenchy's Mr. Light and we can go right back into the inner corners of the eyes and just clean it up, take away any dark circles. And then from the Mr. Light, we go to Mr. Bright. And so this is also Givenchy. Same idea, it's in the brush. We're gonna use that at the top of the cheekbone and let that be our highlighter. Now we're gonna go into the Makeup Forever High Definition Blush. It's a cream blush. Put a little bit on your hand, take your ring finger, warm it up, thin it out. We're gonna do a big cheesy grin. We're gonna be smiling, cause you know, it's 9 a.m. and you're getting your drink on. Really apply it to the tops of the cheeks as much as possible. You know, with this much eye makeup on, you put this in the middle of your face and it's getting clownish. Okay, at this stage we've reached the lips and I don't think green lipstick is gonna be the place. So we're gonna go with something monochromatic. We're gonna use the same aqua cream from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna actually combine it with a little bit of MAC Instant Gold Lip Gloss and a little bit of Aveda Lip Shine in Cherry Blossom. I'm gonna combine the three together. So you can pretty much take any glosses that you want to make a little combination. And really the focus is gonna be on the eyes, so you don't have to go with a really strong color on the lips. So if this isn't enough to represent St. Patrick's Day, this interpretive version of the Irish flag on Emmanuel's eyes, then I don't know what to tell you, but maybe a couple of polishes from Sally Hansen, Alternate Fingers, Instant Dry, I love this stuff. I wanna thank Emmanuel for being the perfect Irish princess. Cheers.